A CAR-T therapy is um, a genetically modified cell therapy. It's an autologous product, which means that the starting material is taken from the patient for whom the product is intended. So it's a batch of one. It's a very labor-intensive manufacturing process which involves the introduction of a viral vector. Then, once the CAR, the chimeric antigen receptor, has been, has been placed onto the T cell, then essentially that is grown up in a manufacturing process. And this is the same, as ma this is manufacturing a medicine. At the end of the day, the CAR T cell therapy is a medicinal product. So hence, pharmacists have to be involved. So what's the same? They're very different products, but what's the same? They're medicines and we've got to look after our patients who are receiving these medicines. So we need to think about um, what the role of pharmacy is in this scenario. So the role of pharmacy is, is wide ranging, but one of the fundamental things that I like people to realize is that we need to have governance in place for these medicines. They're very exciting, they're innovative, they're curing cancers. Clinicians want to use them, they're very excited. So what we've got to do as pharmacists is to make sure that that is done safely. So we've got to make sure that all the right governance is in place. For delivering the marketed CAR-T therapies, there are two of them that have just got marketing authorizations in August 2018. There is the Gilead product, which is Yes Carta, and the Novartis product, which is Camraya. And um, there, there are commissioned centers, or the centers in the process have been commissioned to deliver these. There will also be a national patient selection process. And then of course, there's gonna be local governance aspects that are required within local organizations. So we need to make sure that all of that is taken care of. And then there'll be approval of the order for these in this centres. So pharmacists will be required in some way or other to approve the order. Uh, it may be by uh, a purchase order arrangement or it may be by a clinical verification. In actual fact, whichever way the company wishes this to happen within their system, we need to make sure that we've got a consistent pharmacy procedure to ensure that this happens uh, safely uh, for the patients. In terms of the wider aspects of pharmacy, we also need to make sure that there are aseptic pharmacists uh, involved. We have preconditioning, we may have bridging chemo while they we're waiting for the manufacture to occur, um, and, and toxicity management may require parental nutrition, for example. So that there's wider, wider um, aspects to this. And um, also, of course, medicines management. Inevitably, unfortunately, there may be some patients who are not able to receive the treatment after it's been ordered or may have cancellations for whatever reason. These are going to be high cost drugs. We need to understand that whole aspect of the funding and, uh, and payment too. So although pharmacy or pharmacists may never actually touch a CAR-T product in order to deliver them for patients, they need to be involved throughout the process.